Oh boy. Ahoy, fellas. It's time for Chapter 2 of Yakuza 0. Zero Part 2. Zero. Huh. Anyways, who the heck is this guy? Yeah, just kidding. I already know who this is. You want to know why I already know who this is? Because I already made a 27 minute episode with crap audio. My freaking, my old headphones, I got myself some new headphones, by the way. Also, ho 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 ho, oh, sheesh, y'all can't be showing me this game, jeez. It has too hot for YouTube, dear lord. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Anyway, as I was saying, my freaking, um, old headphones, I got new headphones, by the way, so if the audio is a little bit different, that's why. Um... My old headphones, I guess the mic track was getting a bit old. And so every time even like the cord would move, it would cause crackles that would be much louder than any audio coming through. You know? Yeah, no threat, says the guy with one glove. One black glove. Yeah, that doesn't look sus at all. Come on, come on, pal. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, I, I only know one group of people that only wears one black glove, you know. Only one, and it's people that are a threat to me. Right. No one else. No one else. I'm setting myself up, alright? You'll see. <laughs> but... God, my shoulders have been stiff, and I wish I knew why, but I think it's probably like a pinch nerve. That sucks for me, right? But, yeah. I'm going to be having hopefully better audio. And I'm honestly getting better audio quality with these headphones. They're pretty nice. I'm not going to say what they are because they're not paying me to. But, you know. See, he's not even eating with that hand. It's his killing hand. It's his hand he uses for killing people. Sheesh. That or he's a lefty. I guess he's just a le um, um. Um. Oh. 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 It's prosthetic. Oh. This reminds me of a time. You know, I'm just going to tell this story because I told it in my original recording, so I have to now because, you know, I still feel stupid for it. This was back in 2016 when everybody was dying, right? And I'm pretty sure Prince died in 2016. But, um, yeah, Prince died, right, and they had the service going, and Stevie Wonder was at, he spoke, he said a eulogy for Prince, and all that. It was a great moment and all that, but, um, I was watching it, or it was on the TV, I wasn't really watching it, and Stevie Wonder said something about being really broken about it. You could tell he was, he was like crying and all that. And I, I looked and I'm like, yeah, well, not enough to take the six shades off. Uh, uh. My sister looks up at me and she's like, you know, Stevie Wonder is blind, right? I'm like, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 There was a young woman with us? Intriguing? I didn't catch that the first time because I was busy talking about, um, you know, making fun of disabled people in an accident. You know, it just happens sometimes. But, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got new stuff now, though. I also have a relatively nice little, I guess, cooling brick thing. No, brick, it's a pad. The thing that you put your laptop on to make it, like, circulate better. Because for whatever reason, every single vent on both of my laptops are on the bottom. You know, it's just so great. What a great place for them. Whatever, their laptops do slim, I get it. If they were anywhere else, they would be, like, twice as thick. Still not work as well, but... You know. So I got this thing. It, it, it blows pretty nice. It, doesn't, it makes my uh, it makes my laptop not sound like a jet engine. 
あんたの話を俺にとって都合がよく。<笑> I don't know if I have mentioned on the channel yet that I did get a new bike. I got a new bike because I moved. And, you know, I don't have a car. I don't want to walk everywhere because I'm like a mile away from anywhere I would want to be. So I got a bike. Right? Um, I went to Walmart, picked out a bike that looked really nice. I, I dragged it out of the store because, you know, the brake pads were, were like really tight. I mean, it's a Walmart bike. Come on. What do you expect? Like a good quality bike? <laughs> um, so I of course brought it back to my house because I kind of I know how to loosen up brake pads and all that jazz. Um, there was another thing wrong with it. It was like the uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep this up here just in case. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Um, but the uh, b -b 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 the guard. There's like a there's like a guard that went around the chain. And oh, what the heck? What? Oh, really, fellas? Yakuza. None of I have anything to say about it. You're gonna be out in no time. Bound. Um. Try me, boyo. Can I? Is this guy still over here? Yes, he is. <laughs> it's just neck punch, whatever. Uh, yeah, I brought it home. I was like, well, this is a pretty nice bike, except for brake pads. So I, of course, I uh, got to work loosening the brake pads and all that. I fixed the chain guard so it wasn't squeaking in like heck and all that. It was pretty nice, pretty nice deal. Um, and then I ended up letting the brake pads all the way out on the back and it was still contacted because the back wheel was bent to hell. To all heck. The back wheel had, a, of, of what I could only have assumed was a new bike, except for the fact that there was like a massive amount of dust on it. Um, <laughs> I would have thought it was new, uh, except for the fact that I bought it at Walmart, I guess I should have known. Um, but, yeah, I, what did I, yeah, took the wheel, the brake pads all the way out, and it was still contacting because the bike had like an inch, inch and a half feet deviation in, in the wheel. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, I learned my lesson, never buy anything that you expect to be a quality from Walmart. And... Brought the bike back, they gave me my money back, which was nice. And I took an Uber to an actual bike shop, and got a much more expensive, but much more functional bike that I really like. I bike, I bike now, I bike some places, I take the bus to other places because I don't want to bike all the time, because <laughs> my thighs hurt. Because I haven't been biking in a little while, and most of the time I just spend sitting in a chair, which is very good, but it's what I do. I Sometimes. It's what I'm doing right now. It's what I'm going to be doing for the next, uh, not quite two hours. Yeah, I'm out of the organization now. So step forward now that I'm not Yakuza. I'm free to take action. It's like buying a new bike. I am sore pretty much all over. There's a lot that I wasn't expecting to be sore from when I ride a bike. First of all, honestly, the 
the load on the legs is a lot less than I would have figured. You know, um, I do, I do physical training sometimes, and we did. Dear God, I, it hurts just thinking about it. We did. It was ten, ten air squats for ten minutes on the minute. It was ten, ten air squats on the minute for 10 minutes, so basically 100 air squats. And then we did a full mile run, but every 400 meters, uh, every lap around the track, we do 15 air squats. It was so great, I figured out that my stamina is all gone. I have no more stamina, and I am not good at running anymore. Which is sad. Maybe it has something to do with the apparently I've earned, earned I've gained like 10 pounds. I'm like 150 when I used to be like 140. Which isn't terrible. It's not the worst thing in the world. But, uh, it, um, maybe makes it a little difficult to run. Um, and then today, this morning, we did, it was the push-up clinic. Which is to say, we're doing a lot of form building recently, because it's the beginning of the year. And, that is a tall guy. Sheesh. That's, that guy is super tall. I can't even go around him. I just get the feeling this isn't going to go very well. Okay. Yeah, I guess I encountered a big tall guy who could have seen this coming, right? Sick hair, but, you know. He looks like... He looks like a brony, except he's like seven feet tall. <laughs> Very jacked. <laughs> God. But it was. Dear God, what did we do? It was like three sets of at least 10. A few more. I, I did 15 for two sets and then I did 10. And then like a mile run. And then they put a song on that goes uh, you stay down and then you go up and then right back down. And it sucks a lot. I'm gonna go into rush mode for this guy because he is okay. This guy can kill you very quickly. Oh, okay, that was quick. <laughs> he hit me once. You're not half bad, dude. You kicked my ass. What? That's what I'm saying. This man literally could have killed me with one more hit. Anyways, if I want to save up that kind of money, I gotta do some shaking down. He's got some shaking down to do. He freaking took my money. Mr. Shakedown over there, dear God. Gosh. But, yeah, I gotta say, push-up clinic has not been uh, great for my, my bad shoulder. Well, I say it's my bad shoulder, but again, it's probably just a pinch nerve. I hope, because if there's anything actually permanent there, I'm in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, you know, I really should probably just run more, and then I will be better at a lot of these things, because, yeah, dang right he did, yeah, took your whole holiday bonus, Mr. Shakedown over there. Well, yeah, I will no longer be sitting, he's not the only Mr. Shakedown. Okay, sheesh. I better beat the heck out of him so I can get all my money back, maybe even more. Yeah. Isn't that something? You can just beat the heck out of this freaking King Saul looking mother hacker. Saul, first king of the Jews, Mr. Mr. Head and Shoulders above everyone else, Mr. First King of the Jews, Saul. Wasn't he a Benjaminite? I've been reading um first Samuel. What the heck is this? Ooh. Wow, I, um, interesting, isn't that something? But yeah, that reminds me, I should probably not be so flush with cash. If my, if, if anybody's taking, keeping track of all of my money, for one, what the heck is wrong with you? But, um, for two, it's a little bit different, for reasons that I already explained at the very beginning of the episode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Increases the power. I gotta say, increasing power on rush mode is definitely a good idea. Um, and I'm definitely gonna want the aura aura move. 
He straight up uses the Aura Aura. He's actually going to use it. He's actually going to use the Aura Aura mode. And that's actually really good. Absolutely, I'm going to want that. Um, and you know what? With the remaining half, I'm going to upgrade Brawler. Just because I can. Flying Kick seems super rad. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I might have wanted to boost health. The attacks, honestly... I feel like I did pretty well here. I'm gonna boost health. Whatever. I feel like I've got a good amount of attacks. If I figure out any more, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget what they are, and I won't know what they are, and then I'll have a bunch of attacks that I don't know how to use. Didn't I? Didn't I get something? Yeah. I forgot about this. It would have been nice to use during Kuze, because he would knock me down a lot. <laughs> but I did not remember. Anyways, I'm going home, pal. So, yeah. I do enjoy video games. I talked a while ago about how I've been playing multiverses, but I changed my mind. I no longer... I don't know. I I might just wait on multiverses. I don't I don't really wanna wanna like act like it's. <laughs> I didn't move. What the heck? There we go. That's one down. Um, because honestly, like any game like that where you're really having to. <laughs> They're really making a lot of characters for it. And there's definitely going to be a lot of balance issues. One of the main things I noticed, which is something that a lot of people noticed, is the move priority issues. Now, um, knowing how it works doesn't actually give me any solace as to why my game is not going very well. Okay, I'm really, I really am running into a lot of people on the streets. Sheesh. Sheesh! Fine, whatever. I'll beat the heck out of you, don't worry about it. Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh, is he just down? Dang. I guess that's the power of heat moves. <laughs> I just love that you can straight up do that. There we go! <laughs> always land in that position. Yep. Yes, I am extremely human. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Yeah. But, yeah, multiverses is whack. I, uh... Again, it's not... Seriously, how many of these guys am I gonna run into? Men in black. What? I'm not an alien. What do you think I am? Some kind of man alien? Here we go. Now I just skadoosh. Um, but yeah, balance definitely needs some work. Okay, I would have expected maybe a little better. Untouchable. Nice. Nice. I'm the lowest cast in the Hindu caste system. That's right. They taught us about that in school. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, I also don't know how I feel about Warner Brothers right now because of the whole, I don't know, the whole uh, canceling good cartoons and removing a lot of shows from things, you know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think I can really get behind that. You know... I'm just gonna call it a day, whatever. Uh, I maybe could have done this on the next episode, since I've done a lot of fighting in this episode. But, whatever. I haven't been home in forever. So we're gonna... We're gonna go into my house. Right? Yeah. What a nice place. This guy's a lot of booze. Smoking indoors on the 
Get Seriously. Hey, nice Sukiyama. Nice. Here he is. Yeah. In case you didn't know, there was some nice, really cool looking shows and movies coming out. Um, they were going to be on HBO Max. And now they're not. So that sucks, huh? You get to keep with the kind of crap shows that uh, are on Cartoon Network. Not that I've watched uh, some of them, unfortunately, because I don't have cable. Oh, I guess I do have cable, but I don't have, a tele I don't have television. Uh, up until now, I've had a television without cable, and now I have cable with no television. I guess I, I do have... Uh, I want to see my phone plan come to the So I could, if I wanted to, but I, I don't really want to. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which is super cool. I'll remember that next year when I can get scholarships that I don't need. Um, <laughs> that or it's a housing study. I'm not entirely sure. It's on the news, huh? Oh dang, the Tojo credit guy was in shot. Huh. Well, there goes my one lead. Ugh. But, yeah. Honestly, there is a bit of more room in my room for a television and, like, entertainment center. I just don't know if I really actually want to get one, to be honest. Like, I, I'm more concerned about finding some way to have a good place to sit on my bed, you know? I'm more concerned about, like, actually getting a good freaking mattress cover. I got a mattress cover, and it's supposed to be real nice, right? And I feel like my bed is somehow harder. Huh? <laughs> Tachibana real estate. Yeesh. Yeah, this guy came and found me. He wanted, to, he wanted me to help him get the empty lot. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants this dang empty lot. Come on. Sheesh. I think I'll just get the empty lot myself. How about that? Well, hold on. I do know these guys. Sheesh. Yeah, I, 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 I think we've kind of established that everybody is having this empty lot. Everyone. Every single person. But it's kind of weird being flush with cash. Just a little bit. Like, I've been in situations before where I have a job and no real bills. And I mean, I like being in that situation. But now I have bills. You know, so I like to be frugal, like, you know, eating home-cooked meals that have a, a value of around $5, but taste like what you could probably get in a store for 20 because I'm good at cooking, right? But I've now come into a situation where I can afford a lot. It's weird. It's not even you guys doing this to me, so I don't have to thank you or anything like that. That's right. Screw you guys. I don't need you. <laughs> no, we, we say. Um, yeah. God. I don't know. I, I'm trying not to just get into like a spending habit but at the same time just because I cook and uh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm real particular about the timing of things like if I run out of milk I'm not gonna wait to go and get milk I'm just gonna go and get milk so there were a couple of things like I have three roommates and I'm sure some of them used lunch meat, but I used the last bit of lunch meat, so I went out and bought more lunch meat. That kind of thing. You know, I, I don't know if I'm even going to use some of the lunch meat. But, yeah, I'm not, I guess, relying on my roommates much financially, which is nice, because I can probably afford more than they can, maybe. Maybe, honestly, one of them apparently has a pretty good job. Um, so I don't know, because I don't, I do have a job right now, actually. I go to my job this evening. 
um, and I might just not have a job next week, <laughs> maybe. But hey, it's something to do. And I'm, I'm a mile away. I'm a mile away in a college town of all places. This it, it ain't the greatest place on earth, you know. I have to bike, and the place I work at closes at 10:30. And I told them, I told them when they were scheduling me, I was like. Maybe I could just take like mid afternoon, maybe leave before the last bus does, so that I don't, you know, have to bike at like 11 p.m. a mile in uh, not the not the greatest place on earth. You know? <laughs> and then I get my schedule, and the only the only days that I'm working are closing. I'm like, that's great. Okay, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just do that thing that I didn't want to do then. Uh, <laughs> but whatever, it's it's good for me. I don't do any I don't do anything else to be honest, and I don't know if I can really effectively get myself to do anything else other than this. And this is basically the same as what I always do. So, in terms of activity and sociality, and just getting up and around, and also having free meals, I do like having my job. So. Yeah. As for Kiryu, he has no job. Jobless mother father. Anyways. Till next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or I will beat you to death. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope for that one. I thought it was pretty funny.